Hey y'all, today we're gonna to learn modern D position backup. We're gonna start out in the key of D, but we're also gonna learn how to play it in two more keys as well. I'm gonna take inspiration from people like Ron Stewart to make a beginner and an advanced version of this backup. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, the next thing we need to figure out is what chords we're gonna be using while using the modern D position backup. We're gonna be playing out of the key of D. And you've probably heard bluegrass music's called Three Chords in the Truth. Well, that's not far from the truth. Uh, most of your popular songs like Blue Ridge Cabin Home, Rolling by Sweet Baby's Arms and others are just three chords. And that's what we're going to use here. All right, y'all. If we were playing in the key of G, it'd be real easy just to say we're playing in uh, G, C, and D. That's our basic three chords within that key. But we're playing in D. So how do we translate the basic three in D? Well, that's a big reason the Nashville number system exists. Uh, for this, it's going to be your one, four, and five. And uh, that sounds confusing, but uh, the easiest way I can show you is with this hand right here. Let's just say we're playing in the key of G. That's our one, G. And we just continue walking up the scale until we find the number that coincides with the chord. So we know uh, it's going to be C is next. So we need to walk up. G, what's our next one on the scale? A, B, C. Our four, one, two, three, four, is C. What comes after the C? D. It's our fifth finger. One, four, and five. So whenever someone says we're playing in the key of D, and it's your one, four, and five, that's how we'll figure out those chords. We're in D. That's our one. What's next? E, F, G. Our four is G chord. What's our five? A. D, E, F, G, A. So we have a D. Our four right here is the G and our five is the A. So D, G, and A. We're going to be in one four and five chords within the key of D. So now you have a basic understanding of how to use the number system. So in your next jam session, if someone's throwing out numbers instead of chords, you'll know where to start at. All right, we know what chords we're gonna be using while playing in the key of D. Let's try to make a break now. All you need to know to get started is that your fifth string needs to be capoed right here. That's two frets down from the fifth string tuner. That'll make your fifth string an A. After we know that, we can move on into our first basic break. All right, y'all, that was the basic version of our modern D position backup. After you get used to that, you can move on to the advanced version. In the advanced version, I do a variation on the D position, as well as I throw some licks in during the G part, or as we know now, the four part. <laughs> Thank you.
So we've learned how to play the basic and advanced version of the modern deposition backup. What's next after this? How about those songs that have a more somber, sadder tone? They're also played in deposition, despite what key we might be playing in, but they just sound different, more sad. How about Man of Constant Sorrow? That one has a different sound, though it's played in D position. Let's try learning that backup break. y'all that's what i call the dark d position backup for those more somber tunes so now we know the beginner and the advanced versions of modern d position backup also the dark d position backup what if we want to play in a different key well you can use this d position backup in a few other keys but uh the most popular is probably in the key of e in the key of f so let's try both of those right now. All right, y'all, we've learned how to play in the key of D using our modern D position styling. Now we're gonna learn how to play in the key of E, and it's really quite simple. All you have to do is capo up to the second fret using your banjo capo, and then capo your fifth string four frets down from the fifth string tuner. If you have hooks, just hook it in right here. If you have the sliding capo, hook it four frets down. This will make the fifth string a B chord. And then from there, nothing changes. All you have to do is play the same stylus that you did in the key of D, except your capoed up. It'll sound like this. play in the key of D and the key of E. Let's try the key of F. And uh, for this one, we just capo at the third fret. And then we're going to capo the fifth string five frets down from the fifth string tuner right here, making the fifth string a C. And we're going to play the same styles as we did for D and E. And it'll sound like this. <laughs> modern D position style backup. You've learned the basic break, the advanced break, as well as the dark D position break, as well as three keys to use this D position in. And going back to the number system and how it parallels with these three keys, it's as long as you know how to play the one, four, and five chords within the key of D using modern D position, it doesn't matter where you capo it, you can play it the exact same way. 
All right, y'all. If you want the tabs for this lesson, go to my patreon.com slash big red music page. There you'll find this and a whole lot more. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps me a whole bunch. All right, y'all. Till next time, let's pick.